Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have these beautiful blooms and I have looked high and low for a gorgeous container to put them in. When I couldn't find anything, I remembered a craft from a long time ago and it is called decoupage. I want to share the magic art with you because once you get it nutted out and how to do it, it is so easy to turn, one moment, I'll put those down, to turn a pot or any surface into a thing of beauty. How beautiful is this? I absolutely love it. And it, when I look at it, it reminds me of Mary Antoinette. It is so super easy to do. And once you're into it, look, it just means that you can display your flowers into whatever you desire. Let me share what you need to gather together. You need decoupage glue, or if you haven't got any of that, use Mod Podge and use half Mod Podge, half water. So it needs to be quite watery. And if you don't have any of that or the Mod Podge, good old everyday PVA glue or craft glue will do the job nicely. You'll also need a paintbrush and the magic happens with lovely little things like this paper serviettes and they come in all patterns all kinds of print and it's just a matter let me just get rid of all of this we don't need that for a minute it's just a matter of when you find the the serviette that you like now get the ones that are, have got the three layers I know that two layers would be better, but three layers always means that the, the front portion is always just a little bit firmer. Then what you need to do is to get into there and you'll see the three layers. So there's one layer, two layers, three layers. Quietly just pull the two bottom ones off so that you're left with this lovely, 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 finely printed image of, of, or paper with your print on it. Then what I like to do is, now some people, I take my glasses off, some people like to cut. I don't like to cut for what we're going to do because I don't like any of the lines and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So you just get into there and then just rip that to pieces, pull that, and usually it's got four different distinctive looks on each of your corners. So when you open this, uh, what, I want to sh what I'll share what I mean. So you've got, in each of the four corners, you've got a different design usually, or they just repeat it. So we want to get as much out of each of our little tissues as, or our napkins or serviettes as we can. So once you've done that, it's just a matter of getting into there and pulling those to pieces so that you've got, or ripping them up so that you've got nice little wee um, image, the nice little images in which we can work on. So from that I've got two flowers and I've got two lots of cornflowers and I think that that could be, oh I'm not sure what that could be, but it's quite pretty. It could be a delphinium, I don't know, but for today it doesn't matter. The next thing you need to do is, oh, I'll get rid of that, I always use some baking paper or whatever you've got that so that it does nothing's going to stick to it, just to keep my surface nice and clean. And if you've got a surface that could roll, my next little trick is getting a towel and rolling it up and getting this nice little area like this in which you can put your pot into it so that it doesn't roll around. Because if you were doing a glass, you would need one um, the rolls like this, otherwise it will roll all over the place. Right, with glasses on and into the glue and a nice paintbrush, what I like to do, and I'll turn this around so that you can see what I'm doing, is just layer a good coat of the glue over the surface and then getting your image it's just a matter of laying that down like that and then using your paintbrush and just running that across. Now sometimes you'll get little um, wrinkly bits into it or little creases. 
I don't care about the little creases because I quite like that textured effect. So you just have to go slowly to eliminate any of those little creases that might appear. So I'll put another one on. I like quite like this. Oh, I'll put that one there on. So love a little bit more glue. And then I always go carefully over that image. And little bits might come, come away, but don't worry about that. And then just laying that. <gasps> Oh, it's a bit rough, a bit rough. Putting that onto there and then just bringing that up and over so that you have now taken that image across to the other side. And if you re and because it's so fine, you're not even going to see where they join. So look at that, isn't that just cute? So I'll just keep my, working my way around until I've completely covered that. Now my next little tip, which I think is very clever, Turn your oven on to about 100 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. And just put it into a warm oven and it will dry really quickly. Once that is all done, the next thing to do is to get another layer of your glue and take it across the whole thing and that will seal it. You could you, you could spray paint it with some kind of acrylic, um, some kind of enamel or varnish if you wanted to. But the reason I don't do that is because once I've finished with my pot and my design, if I want to change it up, it's just a matter of soaking it in hot soapy water and the job is done. So later on, I will show you how to display your flowers into that. And you can see from the outside here where I've put a nice little coating over and I've left some of the white um, of the paint as well. You don't have to undercoat it, but I like to apply a good layer of undercoat just so that I've got a nice surface to work on. And you don't see, this has got, a, it's even though it's transparent, that little white bit will, cut, will th show through. So just covering it up, leaving a little bit of white, putting the white on and then putting that over it will make sure that you get a nice clean print. I hope you have enjoyed my quick and easy way of how to create a container that I want to suit my flowers. See you again another day.